get you to the Texas Panhandle, where tonight's hot and windy weather brought even more problems for fire crews there. This is new video. I want to show it to you of the Roughneck Fire, as it's called. It sparked up just four or so hours ago, so this is a very recent one. It has already, though, burned more than 300 acres, and it's really the last thing that this area needs right now. As we've reported, a system of different wildfires has torn through the Panhandle, scorching over a million acres this past week. Two people have been killed, along with hundreds of cattle, and as many as 500 structures have been destroyed. Crews continue working around the clock to contain the fires on the ground and in the air. Now, some of the hardest hit communities are starting their long road to recovery. There have been people that have lost their homes, and people that are currently helping the people that have lost their homes. And during na national and um, even local disasters, we really pull together, and that's what makes me proud to be a Texan. Well, Governor Greg Abbott, for his part, also said that he's working to get federal aid to the panhandle, though no word on what exactly that might look like yet.